thank you for attending my speech and being my audience if you want to say. My name is Faith Baldwin and today we are going to talk about Tulsa deserts. Being in a desert is basically being in poverty. You are going to find many disadvantages in life and being in poverty is one of the main big deals. In Oklahoma, you basically have more than one desert, but one stuck out to me the most, which is North Tulsa. And if you live in Oklahoma, you hear about North Tulsa, all of this stuff, but it's not as bad as you say. The only struggle that North Tulsa goes through is the biggest problem, which is being in poverty. I'm going to have three claims today, and the first claim is Tulsa naturally can't afford because of a shortage of fresh goods. How do they not afford this? Are they not going to work? How are they not being able to get this? My second claim is Tulsans go through daily struggles, which they can't afford. How can they not afford fresh goods? Can they not get there? Third claim, percentiles of this impact is unbearable. We are going to go back to the first claim. How can they not afford this? How can they not get their fresh goods? Mike Avril stated in his own article from the world, from Tulsa World, he did an interview with one of North Tulsa's citizens, if you want to say, which this... This interview proves that they don't have transportation. They don't have a way to get their goods because where they are located, they don't, the government doesn't want to put a grocery store, if you want to say, or whoever doesn't want to put a grocery store in North Tulsa because they think the negative, this will ne impact them negatively. So what is this impacting? This is impacting the citizens. How will you survive without any fresh goods? Being healthy is your, more, your most important part of life, if that makes sense. You won't make it very far if you're relying on processed foods. You won't make it very far with that. How is this affecting them? They do not get the advantage to receive fresh goods. So that's how they're affecting. Claim two, how are they going through the daily struggles? Why is this affecting them on the daily? I did more research and I found a KJRH article, which they interviewed Danetta Thrower and it tells us she struggles getting actual fresh goods in all they eat are press, processed foods. This goes straight back to the first claim. Who, what are they eating? How are they eating it? What, when, when are they eating it? They are eating processed goods daily. Donetta Thrower has children. She's feeding her children processed foods because she can't get straight to a grocery store with fresh goods. Children need that. Children need that to grow. They need it to prosper. They need it to overcome. She relies on grocery store on wheels because she lives in one of those many, many areas in Tulsa without fresh good access. Claim three percentiles of negative impact from Tulsa deserts is under unbearable. 14% of Tulsa is low income and 45% is the population. And I pause for a second because that is just has me in awe just because Someone can't afford it. Someone can't get to it. There's nothing there. There's nothing there. If they need it this bad, if they need it this bad to live, everyone has an advantage to do it. Everyone has an advantage to do it.
but North Tulsa is suffering the most and they don't want to be able to get out and get active on this grocery store that they need. As the end of my research came, I was scrolling through Tulsa World and Mike Averill has proved that they are, as of now, putting in a grocery store, a grocery store that will be affordable, will have fresh goods, and will be in close contact that everyone can get to. So I really hope that throughout my speech, you thought about how will this affect you? How does this affect you? What will we do to make this better? Thank you.